Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Donnelly here with another pro theme tutorial. Today we're gonna go a little bit more in depth looking at the power of the layout builder um, in combination with something like custom post types and ACF, so advanced custom fields. Uh, those three things together um, are pretty darn powerful uh, in terms of being able to pretty much replace uh, various um, plugins like business directories and, and stuff like that uh, to an extent. Um, so that's what we're going to build here today is a quick little um, business directory. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is download two plugins. Uh, those two plugins are going to be our ACF and our custom post type UI. So CPT UI gives us this guy here and ACF. We can just use the free version, this guy right here. We'll go ahead and install. And then we wanna make sure both of those are activated. So advanced custom fields and custom post types. Now, what we wanna do first is create our custom post type. So uh, a post type, um, pretty much everything in the database for WooCommerce is considered a post. And so if you wanna create like here, this is a pages post type, this is a portfolio post type, this is a posts post type for your blogs. And so we can create a post type in the database. And so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here uh, right now. So we come on down to custom post type UI and we're gonna add edit post types. This is going to allow us to add a new post type to our menu here. And so we'll come in here and we'll call this one, let's call this uh, businesses. So uh, there we go. And plural is businesses. Singular is business. And then I'm just gonna use this, it's usually pretty good, populate additional labels based on chosen labels. That basically means it's gonna take this here and with a little bit of logic, apply it all throughout here so it'll save us a little bit of time. So we'll go ahead and populate. Um, menu name for a client, I would probably just call this businesses, all businesses, add new, add new business, edit business, etc. Let's go ahead and add our post type. Uh, you know, you can get a little more sophisticated in what kind of taxonomies this is applied to, um, you know, what it supports, all of those kind of things. But we're just scratching the surface here. So uh, businesses has been added. But now if I click on that and I add a new business, aside from the Gutenberg builder, not much I can really do here. Not super helpful. So what I'm going to do is come into our custom fields. So now this is our advanced custom fields. I'm going to add new. And I'm gonna call this businesses. And then where do we want these custom fields to show up? Well, our post type is equal to business. All right, so now these fields that we add are gonna show up here um, under our businesses. So. What are we gonna do? Well, let's just pick a couple common ones here. So, you know, maybe we do um, uh, the title of the business will be the business name. So maybe we'll do uh, location. And we want this to be, you know, it could just be a text or a text area. For now, let's go ahead and do that. But there are other choices that we do have here. Um, let's go ahead and do a text area. Instructions. Uh, we could add, you know, add an address here. And we could do a placeholder, one, two, three, happy lane. All right, and then maybe we add in um, business industry. And we'll have that as a text field as well. Uh, you can also make a field required if you want to. I'm not gonna do that here. And then let's just add one more, which maybe is uh, business phone. We'll just go ahead and we'll use it as a text field here as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this. We'll publish it. And then we'll go check and make sure that our business fields are showing. So add a new business. We'll call this Apple Computers. And when we scroll down here, we see our fields that we added. Um, so. We'll go in here and make this, uh, you know, 555 California Lane Industry Technology phone number 555. All right. We'll go 
ahead and publish this. But what you'll notice is that if we go and view this, kind of a kind of a weird page doesn't pull through any of that detail that I just added because WordPress doesn't know to look for that doesn't know what to do with it on this page here. Um, so this isn't super useful uh, for our Apple computers directory page. So what we want to do is build a layout for this page. So we're going to come in here, we're going to add a new layout, it's going to be a single page. Um, archives are a little bit different, this would be like the full directory and we'll get to that another day. Um, but this is going to be the single page. WC single and WC archive, these are for WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and click single. And we'll title this layout businesses. And so a single is the bit the business itself. So this is like what the Apple uh, page is going to look like. And we'll go ahead and create the layout. We'll start from scratch. And we're just going to come up with something very simple. Again, uh, ignore design. This is functionality. Um, but you know, maybe this is Apple. So we'll just have these in here already. So maybe there's an iPhone in there, something like that. And we want this to have a title. Um, so again, you could just use a headline and pull dynamic fields in here. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll go headline. We want this headline to be slightly styled and it's the company name. So we're going to come in here, click our um, dynamic button. And in our dynamic fields here, we want the post title, which should double check it. And this should say uh, Apple. And the reason it doesn't is because we're previewing the home page. So what we're going to do to preview the right page is come up here to this little toggle here. We're going to click on that. And under preview, we want to tell it first that we want to preview a business and then it's automatically going to pick Apple because it's the only one we have, but you could click on this and look at different ones that you'd want to preview. So now that that's done, boom, we're previewing the correct page now. So Apple computers, what other info do we want to pull in? Well, perhaps we want uh, that phone number. Maybe we'll make this like an H three and it should be a little smaller and maybe a little grayed out here, something like that. And so now we'll click on that dynamic button. And now we're going to come to our custom meta fields. Again, you know, if you've watched any of the previous videos, um, I use this quite a bit, you click on the gear here. And on the current post under meta, we're going to go ahead and look for what we added for our businesses, uh, business phone number. Now it is it's off screen here. So I apologize, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It adds in business phone. And when I click this plus sign, it'll add it in here as a dynamic content post meta key is business phone. This is from ACF. So there's our phone number. Now we also want to add in some of those other details like address, we would just do the same thing. And whatever your style is, you get to just build this just like you would a normal page, just make sure you're pulling through uh, these these custom fields. So um, maybe under this one, we go meta business industry, okay, technology, and then in this last one, we go oops, I'm on our custom field, meta. location. All right, there we go. So again, this isn't pretty. But now it's pulling through each of those custom details that we added into advanced custom fields. And this is our businesses custom post type. Um, so now, if we we'll go ahead and save this, um, this still is not going to work. So if I go and preview Apple computers, which was uh, this here, it's still going to look like our old one. And that's because we haven't assigned this yet. So we're going to come in here and under settings, under assignment conditions, we're going to come in here and add this to post type is business. So now this basically says that this layout that we're building here is only going to apply to post types that are businesses. 
Um, it's not going to apply to your blog. It's not going to apply to your portfolio, just to businesses. Go ahead and save that. And now when we look at this on the front end, there is our business uh, directory for Apple computers. So now what happens when we just add a new one? So now that we've built that, set this up for a client, let's say now they just want to come in and add Microsoft and publish. And what that's going to do is add another business to our directory here. And when we view Microsoft, it is already built out. Uh, one thing I should add is you probably want uh, like a logo here, right? So instead of adding this image in, we would probably in the real world, uh, create an image, remove uh, a forced image like that one was and pull through a dynamic image. So maybe the featured image. And now what that means is on the back end uh, here. So let's uh, edit this business. Um, for Microsoft, we would add a featured image and maybe the Microsoft one is a bunch of iPhones. And for the Apple one, we would add another featured image. And now design wise, there are ways that we could, you know, make these equal height, you could make sure that your file is the right size or equal size, you could force things, you can make it a background, um, whatever. So there are, there are design solutions to these being the same size. But now, when I refresh, here's our Apple computer one. And let's go to Microsoft here. There's our Microsoft one. So it's automatically pulling through, let's say the Microsoft logo, and all of our details for that business. So now, using uh, custom post type UI and using our advanced custom fields and using the pro layout builder. Uh, we have built a pretty simple, um, business directory. Now, again, there's more to this. You'd want to actually create the directory page, which is the archive. Um, and maybe we'll get to that another day, but hopefully this helps you guys sort of wrap your head around, uh, the weight of what the layout builder can do in conjunction with some other tools. As always, I love putting together these videos. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more of this kind of content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.